Hi Aquarius, this is Mary Shea or Shana Saloka. Let's see, what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now? Aquarius out there, Sun or Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Aquarius out there, what is it that you need to hear from me right now? Your first card is the Tempens. All right. Behind the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Something is aligning for you pretty quickly. Okay? Things are falling into its place, like, quickly. Hmm? Things are getting sorted out. It's, it's almost like the universe is making plans for you. And things are finally happening. I'm just going to break the deck here. This one. And they want, yes, eight of wands. They want me to look at the next card as well. The Hobbit. Okay. So things are moving. Okay. Eight of wands is a forward moving energy. When I'm looking at the Hobbit energy, this is somebody who's isolated. Like, um, some of you might have been in solitude. Like keeping to themselves. All right? Mm. You don't socialize, probably. You were pretty much a hermit. Like throughout 2023. Uh, you kept to yourself. That is about to change. I also get this energy. You might have worked on yourself from within during this year you might have assessed what is it that you really want moving forward like you have only visualized what you want for 2024 that kind of energy is coming through okay there is a sense of balance coming through okay and i see you taking action if you were a hermit, if you were um, isolating yourself, that phase is over, okay? You are ready. I'm getting the words take over. I don't know what you're going to take over, but there is this energy of, you know, charging or, you know, just moving forward. You know, chasing your goals. That kind of energy is coming through. And I do get this energy. Some of you might have walked through, you know, like something about the conscience as well. Like, uh, it's, it's like you figured it out. Okay. Now you know, because uh, I did not see that earlier, but this card has slipped and they're showing me the star card, which is an Aquarius energy. You're chasing after your dreams now. It's, it's like you've taken a step back, okay, to assess what is it that you want. Now you've figured it out in your head, in your soul, and then you're just, you know, going forward. Okay, so if you might be dealing with a Sagittarius energy, a Virgo energy, a Taurus or a Gemini energy, or probably another Aquarius energy, doesn't feel relevant because I feel like this is about you and my hair is poking out. All right, can we have the next card, please? Aquarius out there. That's going to distract me. All right, can we have the next card, please? This one. They want me to look at this next card as well. The Hermit. And this one as well. Um, there is something about... Yeah, Five Cups. The reason why um, they wanted me to look at the next card as well, they want to explain this Hermit energy. Okay. So you assessed what was stopping you 
Give me a second. Just sorted it out. <laughs> All right. So we're looking at the Hamid energy. Um, there is something about you, you know, putting yourself um, in this isolation. It's it's almost like um, you you were not willing to confront or it's it's like you had been tied down um or you kept yourself as a slave to a situation which did not work out okay if that makes sense because this is a toxic unhealthy energy okay and then we have the seven of swords which is like, uh, you know, I want to say the word escapism. This is your way, all right? You um, building a wall around you, not willing to get out there, is you trying to escape life, okay? Because you were not ready. Does that even make sense? It's like you forced yourself into the solitude um, state. Okay, because you weren't ready. It's 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 like um, I want to say denial, a state of denial, because you were still attached to something which did not work out. It's, it's like you're grieving. This, this is a person who's focused on these three cups which is spilled over, crying over spilled milk. So you are a slave to this situation which did not work out. So maybe you decided you need to take a break from everything. Okay, now, this, this is your past, all right? This was your past. You were stuck, okay, in this, in this toxic attachment to the past. That is why you came through as a hermit. But now, we started off the reading with the temperance energy, where you have aligned, okay? you figured out what is it that you need to move away from okay you're moving forward you you were done with this i showed you the eight of wands energy you're not um grieving the situation anymore okay you're not focused on this anymore you're done with this okay so that's why the devil's energy Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo energy, a Capricorn energy, and Aquarius, another Aquarius energy with that uh, Seven of Swords. And, um, yeah, strong Aquarius energy. Some of you might have been dealing with an, another Aquarius energy. Can we have the next card, please? Aquarians out there. So, so far, your readings tells me you were stuck. Okay, that's why I said probably 2023, you were in solitude. You were isolating yourself. You took a step back. You built up this uh, wall of China, you know, around you. you. You were blocking people because you were grieving a loss. But now that is over. You're ready to move on. Yes, Nine of Cups. Center of the reading is a Nine of Cups, which speaks about... Um, a wish fulfillment okay behind the deck is the six of cups so there is a reason for you to break free okay break free from this attachment you're moving forward into something new I feel like A third 
person is coming through. That is why you're letting go of the past person. Hmm? You are getting in connection with another person. Give me a second. Uh, this could be someone you know as well, or um, it could be a friend. Give me a second. Yes, this is um, a love connection, but I see you moving forward. Okay, someone is giving you um, that hope. Someone is giving you that happiness, contentment. Okay, that is why I see you releasing yourself from the past. This could be a friend or um, I'm not sure if this is the past person, but um, let's see. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces energy, a Scorpio energy, Ace of Cups. There is love in the picture. Okay. Can we have the next card, please? And please confirm. Okay. Knight of Wands. So someone is charging in towards you. Very passionate energy, very fiery energy. Okay. They're into you. Behind the deck is the Page of Swords. So there is something about uh, this person is getting through. If that makes sense okay if you are coming through as defensive this person is breaking your walls okay if you guard it if you were pushing them away this person is you know getting past the barriers that kind of energy I get a feeling this could be a new person in the sense like you're falling in love with this person okay Yeah. It's, it's almost like I want to say this person is dating, <laughs> okay? The way they're coming through, okay? Uh, it's, it's like they mean business, that kind of energy. They see you very defensive, but they have the courage to, you know, break through, okay? They want this between the two of you. That kind of energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius energy, a Leo energy. It looks like a love reading, all right, from whatever I had picked up so far. So this doesn't have to be for each and every one of you. Can we have the next card, please? Uh, the card is peeping out, so I'm going to look at it. Ten of Pentacles. When I said this person means business, we are looking for the long term, all right? Behind the deck is the two swords. It's, it's like um, they've decided this is what they want. But now it is your decision to make whether you want it or you want them. Yes, Queen of Wands, it, it is up to you. Queen of Wands knows exactly what she wants. She gets what she wants. That kind of energy. So the decision is in your court. Okay. They are making the intentions clear. But you need to decide whom you want in your future. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries energy or probably an Aquarius. No, sorry. Why did I say Aquarius? Virgo energy. Or a Libra energy. All right. I'm speaking to the Aquarius. All right. Can we have the next card, please? Whoa. Okay. Your next card is this one. Four Swords. The Nine of Pent. Oh, sorry. Knight of Pentacles. I said Nine of Pentacles, so we'll have to... Yes. So it seems like... This person took a while, okay? Knight of Wands, they're charging in, but the thing about it is, they took their time. 
because knight of pentacles slowest moving knight in this deck your next card is a first words this is somebody who has contemplated this for quite some time they've thought this through that is why they took their time now they're ready to come through okay to let you know this is what they want huh because they ha they have made up their mind that kind of energy yes is of pentacles they are offering you the commitment they want to be with you okay but the only problem here is this this could be the person who's reaching out to you someone uh, some of you might be dealing with a libra or a scorpion energy hmm because uh, we've got a strong Libra energy. Uh, a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, a Leo or a Virgo. But the thing about this is, the Four of Cups here, which is a Cancerian energy, this person is like, no. And I get this feeling this could be somebody from the past. Because I, I, I asked for a confirmation earlier, all right? So they are uh, clarifying it for me. Because I, I was getting that energy. This could be somebody from the past who's coming back in. Okay? Most people don't want people from the past. Neither do I. But uh, the way the reading is coming through, it seems like somebody from the past is re-entering. Um, because they have decided. Okay? It seems like this person can't or is not over you or can't stop thinking about you like they can't you know they're not over you there is an obsession that they keep thinking about you because i'm looking at the devil's energy along with the first world's energy hmm? even when they go to sleep they just think about you what are you up to what are you thinking you know that kind of energy They want to offer you the commitment after a lot of thought. But you seem to be not interested. Okay? I get this, this kind of energy from you. I don't know why, but you're not interested. All right. Hmm. Okay, moving on. The devil's energy came came out with this um, helmet energy along with another card. Um, can't remember what I said. And I spoke about the nine of pentacles. You might be still single. Okay. You're not involved with anybody out there. It's, it's almost like this person regrets because the five cups energy this person regrets um and they feel like they've lost their chance with you and they want to get you back that kind of energy hmm? they want you back okay can we have the last card please like weddings Uh, card flipped out. You've got the Three of Cups along with the Eight of Wands. This person might want to reach out to you. It could be communication. Eight of Wands, you can see a bike in it. Uh, so probably this person might be traveling towards you. All right. Eight of Wands is a forward moving energy. Um, I guess Three of Cups is like friends meeting up, that kind of energy. Yes, Two of Pentacles, they're contemplating. Okay. They're contemplating to come through like meet up that kind of energy is also there i just broke the deck and the two of cups just that's just the confirmation they want to meet up they want to hang up uh, hang out with you okay the three of cups the two of cups it's, it's it's like they want to solidify the connection with you okay they, they want you to 
know what is their intentions what is how is it that they feel about you okay they want you to be on the same page as them but you seem to come out like this no no thank you hmm? all right moving on again um some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn energy, a Sagittarius energy. Three of Cups is a Cancerian energy. Two of Cups is a Cancerian energy. Can we have the last card, please? Aquarius out. Can we have the last card, please? Your last card is a Two of Wands. Someone seems to be manifesting you right now yeah someone wants things to align with you you know behind the deck we have the queen of cups very strong cancerian energy is coming through some of you might be dealing with an aries energy or probably a gemini energy for someone you are their dream come true they see you as somebody who's very accomplished. Okay? They are looking at you and they want this in their life. That kind of energy. Aquarius, this could be directed at you. All right? You are coming through as um, this lady. Or you might be looking at someone and you see them as this person. And you want, want you're chasing them. All right, you want them in your life. So I don't know who I'm reading for. I might be reading uh, for the Aquarians or it's probably for the cross watcher. If it makes sense, it makes sense. All right. You will know. You will know exactly if it's for you. They see you as somebody who is very... Um, you know, accomplished, you know, way strong person. Uh, I'm getting the word sophisticated. Okay, there is something about you where you are like, you know, very straight up. You, know? you, you, you don't bullshit, you don't play around, that kind of energy. Probably somebody who's very well dressed. You know, everything is in place, your hair is in place, all that. You know, you dress well. You present yourself beautifully. That kind of energy is coming through. Because it's sitting right in the center of the reading, the center card. There is something about you where I feel like you're the center of attention like people look at you you know even if you are not bothered you know even if you're not looking for attention people notice you okay so there is something about you which is very charismatic okay Some of you love heels. If you're a lady, you love heels. Okay? That's that's strange. Okay. That's good. I, I'm keeping on going about this. You, you might have beautiful legs. All right? There is something about your legs. Okay? That's a little too much. Sorry. Maybe for the men as well. Uh, there is something about the legs or your feet probably or you know you like your shoes okay uh, there is something about that people notice your lower body okay that's that's so weird okay it's coming through that's why i'm just putting it out there even if you look at this lady she's wearing this yellow heels okay so it's it's like you just love it, okay? You, you love your shoes. Okay. You might have fancy shoes. 
That's it. <laughs> there is something about you where you come through as someone who is very... You come through as business-like, all right, with that Nine of Cups energy. There is something, uh, a business savvy kind of person, like very straight up, cutthroat, all that, you know, you mean business. Um, but then there is a side of you um, which is very compassionate, okay, uh, like very caring, you're very sensitive, all that. So it seems like this person sees through, you know. Mm, that side of you okay some of you might be an empath i'm looking at the queen of cups all right uh some of you could be an empath you understand people okay even if you have a bloody poker face you can feel how the other person feels you know that kind of energy okay and some of you uh, uh it, there is something about the eyes okay there's something about the eyes where um, even if your face is emotionless, okay, uh, your eyes will speak, okay, how you feel inside. All right, that's it. I think I'm done. Um, I don't think that this reading for, uh, is for everybody out there because this is a past person who's coming back and who's into you. I, I feel like you're not interested in them. Okay. This person is really coming in. Like, they might have already come through. That kind of energy. Like, this is a very, very... Th we started off with the same energy, all right? With um, the temperance energy along with um, the knight of swords energy. I get the same energy. This This is happening right now or this is going to happen like this week or probably yeah tomorrow that kind of energy so watch out you can be prepared <laughs> night of wands they're very much passionate about you okay and they're going to let you know because behind the knight of wands is the four of wands or oh, there is another card uh there is something about them where they are on the fence okay fans about reaching out to you because they are overwhelmed how you will react um they want to come through and let you know their intentions all right and they want to give you the stability and security the four of wands is a marriage situation they want to offer you a commitment for marriage uh, but the thing about this is um there is a very conflicted situation where they have to think twice because they get this feeling uh, you're not into them, all right? Uh, and that is a little too overwhelming. How you will react, and they're on the fence about it. Like, how do I go about it? How do I reach out to them? How do I let them know this is what I want? You know, that kind of energy as well. But they really want this with you, okay? Mm. Yeah, because behind, behind the uh, Queen of Cups is the Empress energy. They want you to be the empress, okay? And this person might have hurt you in the past. That's the indicator. This this is a person from the past who wants to fix things with you. They're coming back, but uh, they know. All right, it, it seems like this could be the person who's coming through, all right? Strong Libra or Scorpion energy or probably a water sign person or somebody who, who keeps things, uh, maybe a dark person, all right? Uh, uh, for some reason, um, this person could be, uh, you know, dark-skinned or tanned, uh, might be wearing glasses, okay? Anyhow, not relevant. Um, yeah, but this is somebody who, who doesn't express, okay? Who has a hard time um, expressing um, their emotions, okay? They, they bottle things up, that kind of energy. So good luck. I wish you the very best. This is Marishi. You watch how to look at it. Like I said, bye-bye.